Water and Energy Solutions provider Davis and Shatliff has called for investments in water projects to prevent conflict and boost food security. Details of this and other stories in our business news roundup. Davis and Shatliff says collaboration between the public and the private sector plays a crucial role in ending extreme poverty and disparities that have often led to conflict in arid and semi-arid areas. The farmers urge development partners and governments to escalate investment in water projects to improve livelihoods through job creation and economic activities. What we've done is also looking at this. How can we enable communities to access? How can we uh, enable the people with a bowl and they would like to solar light to access this now uh, than to wait for five years saving the money to achieve that insulation? So. Elsewhere, university lecturers are set to benefit from an initiative spearheaded by the Microsoft Africa Development Center. The center has kicked off the second upskilling cohort, which will empower the lecturers to keep in step with advancements in the tech industry. This year's edition will delve into the latest technologies such as AI, as well as industry trends. Over 1,500 enterprises in West Pokot and Turkana have benefited from a USAID-led initiative. The SMEs have received over 290 million shillings in loans from the Impact for Northern Kenya Fund, an impact investing vehicle financed by USAID Kusa. Through our clients, we have um, created 19,800 jobs, and we have leveraged an additional $133 million to this region. Finally, East African Breweries has committed 190 million shillings to restore water towers in the country. The move is part of two multi-million shilling tranches to address Kenya's water scarcity funding. Uh, this is a three-year commitment that we are looking to ensure that we protect uh, the, the upper tunnel uh, to ensure that the water conservation is happening on the upper tunnel side of the, of, of the ecosystem. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.